Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new video. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a small detour from the YouTube mentorship lessons. And I want to talk to you guys about an entry technique. Because some of you guys I saw in the YouTube community tab uh, said that you guys wanted, wanted an entry technique. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. But I got the idea somehow. Okay. Um, so I'll just make it very simple. Now, obviously, I have ways to refine my areas of entry. Okay, I have ways to refine my areas of entry so that I know exactly, you know, uh, I, I had to look for uh, POI between this and this price level. So I'll make it quite simple for you all, okay? Now, let me just lay down the rules. Okay, for you to have a nice entry, so let's say uh, bullish, right? You want to have a down close candle, right? So that is ICT on the block your demand, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Okay. You want to see price trading in the back or rather you want to see price forming that down close candle. And then you want to see this price leg, right? Break market structure. Okay, you want to see the price leg after the down close candle break market structure. Okay. And for the bearish side, you want to see a, an up close candle. So we give credit back, credit is due, ICTOB, or oh, supply. I, I don't know why I don't like using the word supply, but okay. Uh, number two, price leg after the up close. Price leg after the down close breaks market structure. Okay, breaks market structure. And price leg after the up close breaks market structure. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. Okay, so let's look at some examples over on a random ass date. Okay, remember, we don't give a shit about whether we can see the data or not. We just want to see if it works, right? Let's just start over here. Okay. Now we don't know what's going to happen. All right, we can see that. Let's use the 15 minute at, at least. That's better. That gives you context as well. Uh, we don't know why. We, we don't give a shit about, you know, what's on the charts. We just want to see if it worked out or not, right? Okay. So let's use these few days from here onwards, okay? So we broke market structure here. We broke market structure here. We broke market structure here. So that was the first break of market structure. It was, it was here, right? Now with this first break of market structure, okay, with this first break of market structure, uh, there is our down close candle that led to this break here. Did it work? Yes. But there's an entry over here, which obviously I can't talk about on YouTube. No, it is not a breaker. Okay, it's one of my own, one of my own entries, okay? So there's one over here as well. Then let's see what else is there. Here we broke market structure right there. Which candle led to the break? This one, right? So now let me look at this as a whole, right? Let me look at this as a whole. What was the candle, the up close candle that led to a swing which broke market structure? This massive one, right? Now, why am I choosing this one? Why not this one? Why not this one? Because remember, this is the manipulative leg, right? Remember from the first or second lesson, this is the manipulative price structure here. So we want to look for we want to look for the POI above the stop hunt, right? So here it is, this fellow. Where is the unmitigated portion of it? It is right here. Nice move, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's the stop hunt. Here's the, the swing low here broken by this candle. There is the up close here. Was there a sell off? Yep. And then remember this one over here, got that buy, right? Then we have a swing high here. We have this down close over here. This broke higher. Did, did it lead to this price structure break? No. This one did, right? This one did. So. We mark it out right here. And you can see that it worked out for a London buy the next day and then it failed. Did it fail though? The bodies remained inside, right? So it's not necessarily a failure. Okay. It is not necessarily a failure. So this is still valid. All right. See this here? This led to this move down. What was the up close? This one. Did it give you a tradable bounce? 100%. But now obviously the narrative has shifted, right? We are breaking market structure here. We are changing the state of delivery uh, from 
that's over here. So when we consider this here, right? When we consider this right here, see here, this swing high, price takes it out. What was the, what was the down close that broke it? This one. you know by the pip right and does it go higher yes it does yes it does yes it does is the rest recapitalized kind of and then it failed so when this fails you know that now it's uh, bearish okay now that it's it is bearish all right now we can see that here we have the break right over here this break over here what was the up close right that led to this break now see there was the stop fund see this high over here this entire region of price, entire region of price. So from here, we are now focusing on what was the up close candle that led to the break of this swing low? This one. Why not this one? Because an all block is the highest up close candle inside that range. So here. All right, so you got that. Here, we have, no, let's use this one. Here, swing low, broken. See this here? Yeah. So that's your highest up close candle over there. Yeah. Obviously, the wicks are going for that, but the body stayed inside. That's all that we're looking for. So you want to see the body is being respected, right? Price goes down. Nice sell, nice sell. The next day now, here we are. Here, here. Look at this swing high. Look at this swing high. This is what matters. Breaks up. Okay. Now, what's the candle? The candle is actually this one. It's up close. Why is that? Because see this up close here. This is the one that took out the stops, right? Was it the down close? No. So this is the candle. So inside over here, you might be having a down close candle that you can refine it to. So let's go back. Uh, let's use a five minute maybe. Yeah. So here, here's your down close that you can refine it to right here. And let's just put an entry because we refined it and see if it worked out. Stops below this one. And let's go for a quick 6R. Okay, six. That's like my maximum for a day. Per trade. Okay, okay. There you go. Let's see if you got it though. Yes, it did, right? Yep. All right. So that's basically how you can look at these kind of POIs. Okay. So don't worry. They will be, uh, they will at some point be mitigated for sure. All right. So now over here, we have this down close. We took out this high, right? What can we then say? We can say that the Euro, Euro USD could straight up come down for this because we never really came down for this, right? You could see if the price coming down for this. But now here's where things can actually change a bit because you have a stop on here, breaking market structure here. Uh, actually, where was it? It was here, right? Yeah, this, this leg broke market structure. But now guess what? This is now internal structure. So this is an inducement, here is a buy. But to be honest, I took an L today on this because I was in a cell over here looking for price to come down here. I uh, came, uh, came really close and then it reversed. So I guess that's uh, that's an error on my part. I did not read this properly. I was I was married to the idea that we could see price come down here, but uh, it's okay. All right, so that's that. Um, yeah, so these are pretty much, this is pretty much it. So I use this as confluence. I also use uh, these EMAs as confluence because uh, for me, these EMAs, I'm using it to... Uh, get an idea for the algorithm that I'm developing from, for myself and for the private group, whereby the EMAs give me a dynamic sort of premium and discount, right? Where I sell above it by below it. Yeah. So it comes in, it comes, it, it is pretty handy because if you, if you add this confluence, look at this, for the examples that we've done so far, uh, over here, see prices above the EMAs, we have a nice sell, come down. Below the EMA, nice buy, go up. Above the EMAs, here, sell. Comes down below the MA. Here's a buy. Goes above. Above again, there's a sell. So the optimal levels are above the EMAs, right? So the settings of the EMAs, you guys can see it. Uh, 45 and 90, HL over 2, HL over 2. Don't ask me what it is. <laughs> All right. So I hope this helped you guys. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up. I hope this entry method helps you out. It's not an entry method. It's like more of a way of look, getting your POIs done. Done. So once it comes to your PY, you know what to do, right? Uh, context matters and all that good stuff. So remember, guys, if you know that the market is algorithmic, your trading can surely be objective. I guess in the next one, peace, peace, peace.